Newly elected Speaker John Boehner promised Wednesday to make the House of Representatives honest, accountable, and more responsive. As his first step, he left the Republican Party. <laughs> Scientists are attempting to discover what caused about 5,000 birds to fall dead from the sky in Arkansas. On the bright side, there is a new two-for-one special at all Arkansas KFCs. <laughs> a United Airlines flight from Chicago to Germany made an emergency landing in Toronto after the pilot ruined the plane's communication equipment with a spilled cup of coffee. <laughs> Explained the pilot. That's true. I I had to make an emergency landing. I dropped my coffee. I needed a fresh cup. <laughs> I'm a pilot! <laughs> An iPhone glitch that caused the gadget's alarm clock to malfunction caused many iPhone users to show up late for work. Embarrassingly, one of them was Bill Gates. <laughs> new, new photos leaked online suggest that China has developed its first st stealth jet fighter. The photos show an empty runway. <laughs> Kate Middleton will travel to her wedding to Prince William by car instead of the traditional horse-drawn carriage, which means they'll need to find another role in the ceremony for Camilla Parker Bowles. <laughs> <laughs> Broadway broke its box office record in 2010 with record numbers. Also breaking on Broadway in record numbers in 2010, Bones. <laughs> <laughs> a federal court struck down a $27,000, uh, pardon me, I'm gonna start over. <laughs> this just in. A federal court struck down a $27,000 fine for a brief shot of a woman's buttocks on NYPD Blue, commented Dennis Franz. Fortunately, the court could not overturn a $20 million verdict against NYPD Blue for every time they showed my new buttocks. It's my bare ass. <laughs> And now, where hard news meets Hollywood, here with the entertainment news is our own Cosmo Poeta. You're welcome! You're welcome! You're welcome! The Motion Picture Academy announced on Tuesday that Monique will reveal the Oscar nominations later this month. Monique will reveal them by standing in front of the nominations and then walking away. <laughs> Mila Kunis and Macaulay Culkin have split up after an eight-year relationship, explained Kunis. I didn't mean to leave Macaulay. I just went away on vacation and forgot to take him with me. <laughs> oh. Meg Ryan is reportedly now dating John Mellencamp, which means both of them are dating cougars. <laughs> And finally, Amy Winehouse will perform five concerts in July in Brazil. She's scheduled for ten. <laughs> You're welcome! Thank you, Cosmo. You're welcome. And in our latest breaking news, an aspiring actress has been put in jail after setting up a fraudulent casting call for infants with the intent of stealing one of the babies. The casting call was for a show called, I'm going to try to steal your baby. <laughs> a Florida man says he is going to live in a lion's den for the next 30 days. Meanwhile, the lions say they are going to eat a Florida man in the next 30 seconds. <laughs> The population of Japan shrunk in 2010 for the fourth year in a row, responded the Japanese director of population growth. Japanese Prime Minister give me a job of encouraging population growth. I fail completely. Uh, so now in proud uh, Japanese tradition, I must cure myself to bring back my family honor, but thus also further reducing Japanese population. <laughs> <laughs> so ironic, right? <laughs> largest hot dog chain, Wiener Schnitzel, is turning 50 this year, and so are its hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and now with an 
in-depth look at one of this week's biggest stories is the segment that's twice as important as ACC 360, Philip Wilburn and TSW 720. Thank you, Melissa Kipling. This week, UFC fighter Jacob Volkman announced he wants to fight President Obama, hoping, quote, to knock some sense into him. Here to comment on it is the 44th President of the United States. Please welcome President Barack Obama! Oh, man. Oh, welcome. Looks like, looks like you're ready to fight, Mr. President. Thank you, Philip. Yes, of course I am. You know, usually I like to settle my differences in a boring, rational manner. <laughs> but not this time. What's the difference this time, Mr. President? I saw the fight. The shit was awesome. Oh, you that, see? Uh, that movie with uh, Mark Wahlberg? Chris that's right. Mm -hmm, that's right. And Jacob Blockman, I'm coming for you. That's right. Okay? You know? Well, I get done with you, you better say your prayers, but don't say your prayers in schools, because Barack Obama don't like prayer in schools. That's right. That's right. I'm coming for you. All right, Mr. President, when's this fight going to happen? Friday, January 21st on c -Fans, brand new pay-per-view. Uh, that's right. Come on. Come on. You know, Jacob Blockman, you gonna wish that health care plan? You gonna be happy I passed that health care plan? That's right. That's right. And that's a stimulus check you can take to the bank and cash it, brother. <laughs> All due respect, Mr. President. Aren't you worried that wrestling someone is kind of bad for your image? Oh, no, no, because I'm, I'm gonna be loyal to the left. Mm. <laughs> and loyal to the right. And keep the midsection all for Michelle. Yeah! That's right! Mama said knock you out, Jacob Blackman! <laughs> President Barack Obama, everybody! <laughs> and finally, Nicholas Cage turned 47 on Friday. Cage acted like he didn't know about his surprise party, but it was a little over the top. For Top Story Weekly, I'm Philip Wilbur.